Hello friends, Chris here with ISK Recording. Are you familiar with your signal to noise ratio? It's one of the most important factors that you have to consider in every link of the recording chain. Right from microphone placement to the preamps we use and the various effects that we put on the audio throughout the process. You see, the goal of recording is to capture the purest sound possible with as little noise as possible. And the more noise there is within a certain sound, the more it'll deteriorate its sound quality and it'll also make it harder for that part to punch through in a mix. So your signal to noise ratio is a ratio of how much pure signal there is compared to how much noise there is. For instance, if I make some sound with my phone, there we go, we're making noise. Now there's a ratio of how much noise and how much pure signal this microphone is capturing. And there's certain things I can do to optimize the signal to noise ratio. For instance, I can get closer to the microphone. I can get really close. Now, this might not be the sound we're aiming for, but I'm optimizing the signal to noise ratio. I'm getting more signal. The, the noise is still the same, but there's more signal. I'm louder. Therefore, the ratio has changed to my advantage. Noise can also be considered if you're in a live environment, there might be sound coming from the audience. So you want to get as much signal from the band and as little signal from the audience. Or if you're recording a live performance with several microphones, your vocal microphone might be picking up some of the guitar sound. And in that instance, the guitar sound is considered noise. It's unwanted. Same goes with recording drums. For instance, you might want to place your snare drum microphone at a certain angle so that it rejects as much of the hi-hat sound as possible because on that microphone, the sound from the hi-hat is considered noise. So you want to optimize that signal to noise ratio by getting that microphone right close up into the snare and pointed away from the hi-hat. One of the biggest contributing factors to noise within a recording comes from the preamps. And that's why some people spend a lot of money on high quality preamps, because they want to reduce the amount of noise that the preamp creates. Lower quality preamps, such as the stock preamps on most consumer level recording equipment, will add noise. And you can hear that noise. When you're turning the preamp up, you hear the white noise just getting louder and louder. Now, what you need to consider, though, is your microphone choice and the output of the microphone. It's, it's actually called the sensitivity of the microphone, but I'm gonna call it the output. How strong of an output does that microphone have? You see, if the microphone has a stronger output, then you don't need to turn the gain up as much, which means you're getting less noise from the preamp, and therefore you're getting a better signal to noise ratio. A microphone that has a weak signal output, and the proper way to say this would be a microphone with lower sensitivity, would need a lot more gain from the preamp, and you get a lot more noise from the preamp. It's not the microphone causing the noise, it's the preamp causing the noise, but it can be reduced with a different microphone that has a higher signal output. Generally, dynamic microphones have a weaker signal output and they need more gain from the preamp. Condenser microphones generally have a stronger signal output and need less gain from the preamp. That's one of the reasons why condenser microphones are more popular in a studio environment. So hopefully you found this video helpful. I want you to go have a great day, make some awesome music, and hey, if you found this video to be helpful, high five that like button down there for me.